Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we uh, checked in at the Kalevala Knights uh, workshop. We got our hands inside the, uh, the last remaining uh, cult stash around here. Had a particularly hairy battle with the Taken. I'm sorry, with divers. Well, I guess they called them the Taken Divers, huh? Cauldron Lake, please. And now we're heading back to where we started today in order to get our hands on whatever happens. I shouldn't say it that way. In order to find out what happens if we bring the forbidden, uh... Nursery Rhyme doll to the Witchfinders Station, where the Federal Bureau of Control explicitly banned it from ever going. Uh, shout out to Justin Jones, who says, I wonder if there is any sort of time distortion within the Dark Place. I'm thinking there might be one, based on conversations that Alan has had, but I wonder how that distortion works. And that's kind of an understatement. They've, uh, made it pretty clear that the Dark Place does not work on any real kind of rules when it comes to time. You know, I was thinking about it, and one of the first things that Saga says to Alan is, you know, you've been gone for 13 years. And he responds, 13? And at the time, I thought, you know, it was like, oh, it's all just a blur. I can't believe it's been 13 whole years. You know, it's been a long time, uh, longer than I thought. But given the way he describes the Dark Place, well, that surprise for 13 years could have been because it felt like 13 seconds, 13 minutes, or 13,000 years. Like, they just uh, su straight up suggested that time has no meaning over there. Like, consider that the official story they're giving us is that the Alan... You know, so far the way the story is being presented to us is that the Alan I control in the Dark Place and the Alan Saga interacts with out here are the same person at different points in the story. So yes, uh, that all uh, supposedly all of the events of Alan playing around in the dark place lead to him escaping the dark place and uh, getting shot at in the cabin with Casey. But at the same time, even though that supposedly happened in the past, Saga can communicate with him in real time when their paths overlap. So is Alan talking to the future? Is Saga talking to the past? Or is one of the Allens an imposter? Oh, that's right, yes. Yes, the Witchfinder Station. We started here, down uh, in the lower left. Lower right, even. And way over here in the upper uh, left, this time it is left, is uh, the Witchfinder Station. I still find it neat, the thing where the, uh, the flashlight comes out faster if you're running. Oh dear. Wait, no, don't go in there. Uh, or do go in there. Man, how wild would it be if they were leading up to an intentional mind fuck? like, both of the Allens are fake? <laughs> he 
Yeah, at the end of the game, Saga runs into a man who looks exactly like Alan did in the first game. With the short hair and the, the tweed jacket. I don't know. Somebody tells me we won't get that lucky. I just keep following this path till I come to the bridge. Oh. Oh no no, that was facing the uh, the parking lot, wasn't it? So I was just thinking this might be the spot where uh, Nightingale got grabbed all the way back in episode one. Weird to think I was playing as one of the Taken. Hey, look at that Witchfinder station. Huh. Started a strange rumble off to the left. Swap back in the mayor setter thing to see if anything shows up. Wrong button! There's a point of interest right in front of the, uh, the roadblock over there. I call it a roadblock, it's a, a dead end that leads to the lake, so... So I'm gonna take a quick detour over there. I've never encountered a situation where Saga runs out of breath or can't ru sprint anymore, but... Oh. I don't remember if I found this before. Today's catch, a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes, didn't notice me. Good, don't need the attention. Today's catch, just an old rubber boot. Some of the re regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman, not even the fish. It's next to a tackle box and a uh, fishing rod. Fucking hell me. Okay, good. That that point of interest did disappear. It's not like the one that's in uh, Coffee World that's just there forever. Yeah, the bugs for things like that do not impress me, I have to say. For things like, you know, icons not disappearing from the map. Oh, I started saying a thing earlier, then got interrupted by Taken. Yeah, just, oh, fuck that idea again. It was, uh... I've actually been kind of disappointed, as I've noticed that the bodies stopped disappearing when I look away from them at some point. Not including the shadows, I mean, they just instantly evaporate. But, uh... Because I guess that suggests to me that the thing where the bodies would vanish as soon as I looked away was a bug. Which is really too bad, because it really added to the horror movie atmosphere, in my opinion. Like, that very first time I noticed that it happened, where I just looked up from a body right in front of me, then looked down and it was gone, that felt like a moment straight out of a horror movie. Fuck. Okay. No, no. Oh, this is sprinting. Ah, oh, God, I'm trying to get away, but she could barely run. Oh, that's interesting. The loading screen is Saga driving back to the goddamn lake. Got in too close with the rifle. That was dumb. Well, I was trying to switch to the rifle anyway. Man. It's embarrassing. 
Shout out to Faye Otter, who says, Meanwhile, somewhere in a more normal universe... Alex Casey, the deer mask wearing cultists, have been seen around Cauldron Lake, Coffee World, and the abandoned bunker outside Bright Falls. Saga Anderson. And what have they been doing, exactly? Alex, they have been kidnapping locals and tourists to sacrifice on these altars made of bones and antlers. Saga, dear god. Alex, most likely, yes. <laughs> I like the pun in that. Okay. From the top, or rather from the bottom. You know, I have said this in Let's Plays before. I might have even said it in this one. But if only I were Spider-Man, all my problems would be solved! He'd be having a great time making a straight line path over there, swinging from trees and stuff. Given that Spider-Man is all about the sass, he'd probably make a joke about feeling like Tarzan in the process. Kick a Taken's head off while doing the Tarzan yell. You know what's really funny to me is, uh... The Tarzan yell came from a movie. Originally, it was a novel, so of course the sound effect couldn't be from the original source. It's just that one dude's yell was seen as so iconic that uh, every other adaptation of Tarzan has made use of it. Life goes on, light goes off. Light goes on, light goes off. That's weird, she didn't body check it, she just stopped dead. I believe it was that way. Close enough. Sometimes there are taken around this place. For a minute there, I was surprised. I was thinking to myself that I'm surprised there's not more ambient, harmless wildlife in this game, where you come around a corner and you see like a rabbit or a deer or something, and you just go, "Oh shit!" and then just run away from you. But then I realized the whole thing with collectible petting deer heads kind of uh, gets uh, mm, ruined just a touch if uh, Saga kills a deer herself. Oh, you know what? Well, there's the fucking witches, so that's why I'm going to take this detour and save. <laughs> and while I'm here, I will check on this. Uh, how is my ammo looking? Actually, it's probably just faster to check like this. That's not amazing. I do not love that. Fine. I'll swap out the shotgun for the other thing again. those on me. Hmm. But I really should keep the coffee world one, because it increases the quantity of resources found. I don't know what quality. Maybe that means, like, instead of finding uh, a randomly dropped health pad, you'll find a randomly dropped first aid kit? I don't know. I wouldn't un unequip Logan's Charm if it didn't do anything at all, frankly. I do hate having to reburn off the uh, the darkness shields, especially since you don't always get it in the first hit. Fuck. 
Alright, for the time being, I will swap it out for the one that does ammo stuff, resources, and we'll see how that goes. If I feel, like, uh, significantly deprived, I will absolutely switch that back. In fact, I will keep that on me, because I am a crazy person, apparently. This I'm keeping on me because, you know, that's very much a non-combat thing. A mayor setter charm. Wait. It, oops. Ah, yes. Yes, okay, I did put the, sh the uh, shotgun ammo away. Cool. I really should put this in something here. Since I don't have any of those on me right now, there. The, uh, the flashbangs I'm talking about. Oh, that doesn't lead anywhere useful. Okay, cool. I do notice they're coming in larger groups now. Oh. I like that. There's actually a hole in the back of this uh, item cabin that they put in the, the, the light pole here. Yeah, just to indicate that it's old and been out in the wild for a while. Okay, this looks familiar. sending odd standing up in that bush, but I guess it was just the way the light was reflecting off of, whoops, off of the, uh, the leaves, uh, the fronds, that's the word, on that, uh, on the bush itself. All right, you fuckers, where are you? One of them. That's the best. One of them. Overgrown. Hi. There were at least three of them last time. One of them showed up behind me. Wow. I just put down all of my shotgun ammo, which means that guy was just dropped twelve shotgun ammo. Yeah, I don't have the Coffee World token on. That's weird. I should, however, reload the crossbow before I actually encounter any more dudes. Okay. Uh, now what? Now I head this away. This is a good plan. Oh, I guess they all have that hole in the model. Fine. Or at least those two do. Ah, uh, the Witchfinder's Station. Long last. Actually, wait. Here. I don't hear any maniacs out here.
Hatchling. These, this is a nursery rhyme. I, I, I was just looking there on the ground. There's a, there's a sailboat and a cube on the ground there. Paint drawn on the ground in chalk, like this is a giant nursery rhyme. But there's no eye. Keep an eye on the, uh, the hero so bright. I'm going to have to search the house for an eye symbol and put the mother on it. That's weird. It's oh, the square is where you normally put the paper, but all that we got here is the boat. My father still kept an eye. Anything new on the computer? No. Ah! Oh, even the sun, which would make her blind. I don't know what I would put there. One of these are described as blind? No. I don't know what to put on the sun, but it's here in this bedroom. What's that door? Uh, here's a heart. Oh, there's some papers on top of the washing machine out here. Uh, July 21st, tip of the day, when nature calls on a hike, check the direction to the wind before answering. Funny. Observations. Hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire, tried to fix some of the damage, doused the area. Maybe put up some more instructional signs. I also found some tracks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine, or footprints that were smeared. Either way, they were wandering around in strange patterns. Might be a sick animal. We'll need to keep an eye out. Uh, July 24th, poem of the day. The sun, as she sleeps, knows not the woes of men, who toss and turn and worry and fret and wish that they had her blissful slumber. Observations. Picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists, despite posted guidance. Humans are the worst. Uh, July 25th, thought of the day. Every majestic pine was just one, was once just a wee acorn. That reminds me of a... Seeing someone I knew used to say, uh, the smallest mountain, oh, the tallest mountain, that's what it was, the tallest mountain started as a stone. Observations, a lot of new growth in the area. Some of the pl saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be all this rain, I don't mind it either. Great sounds to sleep to, it's amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. Oh, there's a house over here. A tree. Fi no, that's the jewelry. Fucking found the hatchling here in the in the baby thing. Yeah, of course. Waves? I thought I ran out of rooms, though. Well, the timer has gone. So, uh... I guess I'll call it here. Okay, I will figure this out. Next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2... Oh, there's the eye over here, behind this desk I walked in next to. Sure. Ah, oh, that's better. Uh, yes, I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2 when we press on. When we figure out this riddle and see what, uh, happens when the nursery rhyme circle is an entire building. Oh, joy. I'm going to put the father down last for dramatic purposes. Yeah, yeah. See you then, Bernie Dog fans.
Take care of yourselves, be happy, and stay in the light.